Hello friends! Today I'm going to revisit one of the emulators that we visited before that uh, didn't seem very complete but it still bears to show you how to install it so you can experience it yourself. I like to be complete as possible here and one of the requested things was that when I do these installs that we actually that I actually show you what I did to install it. In this case I'm probably just going to walk through it and show you what I did because the forum post on how to do it is honestly way too comprehensive to uh, to have to go through and make an entire video for. But I want to direct you to that and I want to show you the files that I actually downloaded because it is a little bit confusing so I thought I'd cover some of the things that I actually wasn't sure about and just show you what you need to know and skip all the things that I did that were not correct. So there is a forum post on the Matrix Online emulator site mxoemu.info and I will link to that in the description so you can follow along with me. So basically, it is the MXO EMU Guide for Dummies v3.0. There's a 2.0 as well, but you want the 3.0. This will step you through and get you to the exact same spot that I was in. I like that. That is so appropriate. Anyway, this will get you to the point where I was and show you how I actually added clothes to my character and did things like that. And it covers all that you need to know that it, the game can do at this point. So the first step is to go to mx, mxoemu.info and follow the directions on the front page to download and install the game. So we'll go there And basically, you needed this 7603p file patcher here. And then there is a forum post that actually has the client included, which is the matrix online here. Uh, I could not get this link to open correctly, but it's right here. So this is the latest, the last version of Sony's Matrix Online client. Uh, so if you download this and open it with 7-zip into its own directory, you will have an installed copy of the Matrix. It's pretty large. It's 1.6 gig, but that'll do it. Now the rest of this, this MXOEMU testserver.msi is irrelevant. Everything from this point on you can ignore. All you need is this file and this file and that's it. So once you download those you extract the matrix online client. Well, for, next we're going to register for an account. So you're going to do this because it'll log into the forums and the game. So sign up for your account like you normally would for a forum and then log in and create a new character and that will allow you that button right there and there'll be a create a new character and you can actually make your character name so that you can log into the game once you get it installed now installing it basically all we had to do is unzip this I'll go ahead and unzip it so you can see what's included in the file but it is rather large so it'll take a moment and then unzip this and copy everything inside this folder into the matrix online folder and then you end up with something that looks like this And I just copied it into the folder and extracted it. And then I copied the other one into the folder and I extracted that as well. I just overwrote everything. And that was pretty much all there was to it. I don't need to do this anymore. Since I already showed you what it was, we don't need to extract it again. 
So we'll go ahead, and as you can see, it's making all the same files. I'm going to delete this because my C drive is not for data. Okay, so we got our game client extracted and we got our patch extracted. And then you are going to create your account and create your character. And then you will get to the client. And that's when you can actually build your character. Now I had problems getting this to go because I could not edit the appearance, but I probably could do it on the website. So if I go to the website, I could probably edit my character's appearance, but instead I just opted to continue along in the guide and where I showed you the fighting animations, these are the animations. They're just the animations. They're not the skill. And these are the social animations. And this, this right here is very important. This macro Mara C go-to position is a teleport to take you back to Mara Central, which is where you start. So that is basically your starting zone. And that's where you want to always go back to for reference. It's the most convenient place to wind up. Uh, there's a complete list of the macros and animations in here that you can use and here is how you transfer yourself into all the different characters from the game and you just copy these into the chat box and then press control insert to paste it and BAM you become that also tells you things not to do so don't do missions you can call them up but nothing will happen uh, you can hover your at mouse over actions, but you can't do them, which is the problem we had, is we could not get the system because we tried to zone or get something to come up and we got stuck in a loading clock and we're stuck loading and close the game and restart. And then I think we touched a menu and just totally blew everything up. But it allowed us to continue playing. We just weren't really there. So, this should get you rolling on the basics of the game. And then once you've got it up and installed, I'm going to delete these before I forget, you can launch the launcher. And now it will connect to the correct server not attempt to connect to the matrix online server at SOE and you will get several patch files I think it downloaded patch files for about 20 minutes um, so th once that got going you were able to go into login and get everything started. Um, I don't know if they remapped the account community and support buttons. No. Doesn't appear that they work. Because they're trying to go to the matrix online. So those do not work anymore. However, you can get to them from the mxoemu.info website. So that, that's easy enough. But basically, that is how you install the Matrix Online. And like I said, I will link to the forum post, which I think I just closed, but that's okay. I'll reopen it. And mxoemu.info and then we're going to go to the forums bring it back up to the front page here's the front page I used this one as a reference since it didn't quite take us to where the client update was but it talked about the client update and what they did for shaders and things like that I just go back one to news and announcements and it's right here 
So in case you have trouble finding it, it's in this. But I'm going to link to it. So you'll have that in front of you. You'll know what to do. And like I said, it's, it's really difficult for me to... Uh, to go over this again because this is actually a really good frequently asked questions. The step-by-step -step it takes you through is pretty much everything you need to know. I had no problems doing the install on this one. Uh, following the steps and it even tells you what to do. But those are the two files you need. Follow the guide and you're pretty much done. And then you can log in and play the uh, the walking simulator that is the Matrix Online emulator. And I really do hope this goes somewhere. It, it is a great game. It was very fun to play when it was out. And if you want to see the status of it and you, you didn't stumble across my video that where we played it, uh, definitely check out my channel. It's a couple videos before this one. And you can see what the current state of the game is. Sadly on this one, if you do check out the forums, there's not a lot of activity. I believe their Facebook page might have more activity than the forums, but it doesn't look like they've made a whole lot of progress. Uh, the game is there, but there's no game once you get there. Uh, you just walk around, you can jump, you can do uh, socials to a degree, and that's about it. So anyway, if you want to follow along and try out The Matrix Online in its current status, check out the forum link, check out my video on The Matrix Online, and if you have any questions, drop me a comment. But like I said, I can't really see going more into detail in this because if you're going to the forum post, you're going to have everything I tell you right in front of you already. But I did want to make sure I directed you to where I got my install information so you would know how to do it yourself. Anyway, that is it for this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you very, very much for watching my videos. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if there is an old game that you want me to check out and see if maybe there's an emulator for it, let me know. Uh, I've got some I want to do, and there are many more I have to visit. But if you want me to try to prioritize one, I would be happy to do that. Um, I know there's some out there that are for... Uh, games that are still in production. Uh, there's an EverQuest emulator that's out there. I am not going to do that one because the actual game still exists. There's really no point in me visiting an emulator when the game is still running. Uh, same with World of Warcraft. There are, or were, I don't know how many are left, World of Warcraft emulators out there, but the game's still running. So there's no point in me showing you the emulator because it's basically the game and most of those have no problems so they've been around for so long and they were developed when it was current so they have recent information uh, unlike the matrix online which started development as it was going down and they have had to rely on wiki pages and things of that nature to pull information from but uh, if the game is gone and there, I can find an emulator for it, I will definitely check it out for you. Uh, we do have some other ones I want to do, and we're going to do those. But haven't gotten around to them yet because some of these videos do take a little bit of research and time. And uh, still trying to run a regular series on top of this. But uh, I'll put some of these in every once in a while. So if you haven't seen the game you want to see yet, uh, I know we're going to do... Uh, Ultima Online. We're going to do, uh, what's another, there's another one, Asheron's Call, and a couple of those other ones uh, that I used to play, and we're going to check those out and see what's going on with those. But uh, if I can find any information, we'll definitely do it. I know Ultima Online is out there, but I know the Run UO project is done. I just don't know who the current emulator king is for Ultima Online. Anyway, um, those are the future plans. And like I said, stick around. If you're not interested in what I'm doing currently, uh, believe me, I will get back to doing things you might be interested in soon. Uh, if you want to watch the videos, that's awesome. If you want to see me play something particular, drop me a comment, either in the comment section or send it to me directly. Either way. And uh, hey, check out the contest video that I have. I'll put the link in the description. 
Uh, I got a lot of games I'm giving away. A lot of uh, there seems to be some misconception that I'm giving away, like really cheap and old free games, and there are a few of those in there. But there's a number of AAA games that are in there as well. Uh, I got about 50 keys, and right now, as it stands, I don't even have enough entries to make the competition really a competition. So everybody who's entering is pretty much getting a key. I'd kind of like to make it challenging so that people feel like they won something other than just getting a you know participation award. But uh, if you want, if you got Steam, you're looking for Steam keys. Uh, Saturday, I'll put up a video where I list a sampling of the game titles that I'm giving away. Maybe that'll make some other people interested. But uh, the games that I'm putting out there are not all junk. So definitely drop your comment in that video for the contest. It'll be linked in the description of this video, too. Anyway, I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.